Hi, I'm Satin Brownie, and this is Finding Happy Podcast. Finding Happy Podcast is my journey to discovering my own happiness through conversations with other persons who inspire me in one way or another. This podcast is about connecting with self to create possibilities and opportunities for happiness. You deserve peace of mind. You deserve wellness. You deserve laughter. You deserve to smile. You deserve peace of mind. You deserve calm in your world. Your life isn't happening to you. You are life. Your happiness is not something you attain. You are. You generate happiness. You are your joy. You are the producer of your joy. You are the producer of your happiness. You deserve to be happy. So you go find it. Go find your happy at any cost. Risk it all for your own happiness. Find your happy. Finding happy. My name is Satin Brownie and the name of my podcast is Finding Happy. Uh, today we're going to be looking at, um, well, before we go into what we're going to be looking at today, let me tell you a little bit about the podcast. This podcast is about connecting with self to create possibilities and opportunities for happiness. The overall objective of this show is to help individuals, people self-examine, re-strategize and finding out what truly makes me happy. What? What makes me happy? fulfilled and content so that is what the podcast is about and in order for us to accomplish that we're going to be looking at three key elements that I believe that really determines the quality of life that we live and and um, the, the kind of joy if any we experience right or sadness for that matter so the three elements are thoughts feelings and actions and this here's why I started this podcast I started this podcast because I I am a sort a certified career coach as well as a life coach Um, how I became that was when I really discovered for myself I I was seeking help going through therapy all of that counseling but I wasn't quite getting what I needed until I got I I, I got exposed to coaching and I understood um, that sometimes one just really need a kick up backside to um, you know make the decisions that you need to make in order to do what you need to do and in so doing I learned that we really are all getting what we want we all are in some kind of way and sometimes we're we're even unaware of what it is we truly want in a particular moment so sometimes in the long run or in the future we may want to be wealthy but we're not wealthy today what does that mean what does that mean what are you doing to create that wealth and if you really want it that badly what are you doing about it And if you're not doing anything about it, you have to ask yourself, you must ask yourself, could it possibly be I don't don't need it as much? Or maybe where I'm at is enough for me right now. The need isn't great enough for me to risk everything to get it. Because you won't get it until you risk everything to get it. (laughs) And that's something that I learned. So thoughts, feelings, and actions. Thoughts. Thoughts, I believe, they're your greatest power in your discovery and understanding of yourself. The Finding Happy podcast, with, will, I hope, will help people understand how their thoughts affect their lives. Feelings, which is a second element. Thoughts become feelings. And feelings creates, I believe, a halo around us, whether positive or negative. This podcast will help people cultivate favorable outcomes and avoid harboring negative energies, negative feeling, right? And the thoughts are things you create. Your feelings are the meanings you add to the things you create. So so, so your feeling is your energy, the energy you're creating, you're facilitating or harboring or generating, right? And then we look at the third element, which is actions. Thoughts become feelings. Which, in, which then become habits that we practice 
our actions. And this, this podcast, I hope, will give listeners an insight into how they can, how, how what they do is a reflection of their subconscious mind, and and sometimes feelings they're having and not realizing that they're actually having those feelings, that they're actually feeling that way, right? So I hope that this podcast will help, will take us both, myself along with you down this journey to help us reprogram the mind, to attract what we really want consciously, connect the deep seated unearthed desires that we have with the choices, with our thoughts that we're creating and feelings that we're creating and the actions we're taking in the conscious world. Because we're, we're busy wanting certain things, but then we're doing something else. And oftentimes, we're doing something contrary to what we want. And you have to ask yourself, if I want to be A, why am I doing B right now? So you see, it's all about owning your truth, what is true for you. And owning your truth has nothing to do with honesty or dishonesty. It really is really just about being able to say, this is what I'm feeling right now. This is what I'm thinking right now. This is what I'm wanting right now. And and we have to work to harmonize our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions so that we can get the outcome that we want. But they have to, there has to be harmony. So what our thoughts are, we must be able to, we need to be able to identify it and, and, and make it tangible. By, and, and, and that is where we add meaning to it. To, to, it becomes a belief, an energy, a feeling. And then we can better practice what, what we really, truly desire. We can put that into action. But it takes work to do that. And we have to invest the time in ourselves to do that. I What I find is that it's so much, for some persons, I think it's easier to do things for others consciously right we think about it we're going to do this for you okay we're going to do this for you there's a decision there's a thought process right but then when it comes to doing things for ourselves do we give it that do we give it the same attention same thought huh do we give it the same kind of um review that we give the review give to to what than the, 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 the thought or the review that we give or considerations that we give to when we're doing something for somebody else. I, I, I think that's important. That's, that's just what I think. I think it's very, very important to, to assess yourself, not necessarily as a third person, but as an individual and, and, and consciously think about the things that you do for yourself, consciously make decisions for yourself. Don't just go because yeah, feel this way, so I'm going to do it. Understand why. Do the work to figure out why am I feeling this way? What were the thoughts that I created that's making me feel the way I do? <laughs> and that leads me now to the conversation around acting in your own best interest, especially when faced with adversities. And we're, we're going to look at this based on the, well, the, the three elements that we just spoke about, thoughts, feelings, and actions. If you can accept that you are what you think, then I think everything about your life stems from what you and your life, st- sorry, stems from you. Everything about your life stems from you. And your life then is a collection of your thoughts. Therefore, um, the state of your life is a reflection of the state of your thoughts. I think that's interesting. And I think it's important. It's important to think about. It's important to be cognizant of. It is important to be conscious of that. So when you get, so for example, let's say something happens. Um, let's say you loan someone some cash, and then when it's time for you to get the money back, the person say that not they don't have it to give it to you. And you express to them, "I'm really in need. I really need this money. I have no food to eat. My children can't go to school. I really desperately need this money." person not really giving you as much attention as you th- attention as you think you should be getting or attention to your need you get flustered you get upset and then you get to the place where you're saying oh my god i can't believe you i thought you were my friend i thought you loved me i realize now that you didn't really love me because you're not you're you're treating me unfairly how could i have been so kind enough to lend you the money now you're not giving it back to me right and you go down a whole spiral of what i what i call the drowning man syndrome you know you feel like um bad things are happening to me right now i'm having a bad experience and you start looking for every little thing to hang on to to kind of um, satisfy your 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 need to understand why is this happening to me 
and how can I get out of it and how can I get it to stop happening to me? So we start looking for everything is your fault or your fault or what did I do wrong or how, you know, just want to get out of it. But I usually say, don't get out of it until you understand what is within it, within it and how, how it came about in the first place, right? Because you may, if, if, if we really go back and think about it and think about when the person asked you to lend them the money and, and you were to really unearth your true feelings at the time, did you want to lend it? Did you struggle to lend it? Did you sacrifice yourself when you lend it? What were your thoughts when you lend it? Did you think about it enough? Did you think about you enough when you did it? Hmm? It's not that you're saying you don't want to lend the money to someone who's in need, but are you able to? Have you done the internal or personal assessment that you needed to do to understand how you were re what, what, what your real thoughts are on the matter? So you can create the thoughts you want to get the outcome you want. And then how did you feel about it? about the thoughts you were having with in regards to the request to, to lend someone some money. Did you obey what you were feeling? And let's say your first thought was, mm -mm, but you started feeling sorry for the person, like, oh, but I didn't need it. What kind of meaning, what kind of meaning did you add to your feeling? Did you adequately consider your feelings? You were starting feeling sorry for the other person, but did you feel sorry for how you felt? Did you feel any compassion for what your thoughts were? your insecurity to lend it that matters too that matters equally as much as the person who needs the money right and after you do that and you you contradict your thoughts with your feelings and then you went ahead and proceeded to take the action to go against everything that your instincts were telling you you lend them now when they don't pay you let's be honest how is it their fault how is it their fault when you knew from the very moment they asked you instinctively the thought that you created was no or the thought that you were you created was i will they pay me back you've already put it into motion so we have to be conscious of these little things that we do we, we have to pay attention to what it is we're thinking and the meanings we're adding to the things that we're thinking okay <laughs> awesome 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 so let's now look at affirmations i want to go through some affirmations because i think um affirmations are powerful Powerful stuff. Affirmations help purify our thoughts and restructure the dynamics, the dynamic of our dynamics of our brains, so we can um, truly begin to think and, and and know that nothing is actually impossible, but everything is possible, quite possible, because you can create it with your thoughts, bring meaning to it with, through your feelings, and then start taking effective actions to bring it to life. You know, the word affirmation comes from the Latin affirmare. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that properly, but yeah. And the original meaning is to make steady and to strengthen, to make steady and to strengthen. So here are some affirmations that I'd like to share and I'm just doing it um, on the spot. <laughs> uh, I am in charge of the creation of my thoughts. I am in charge of the creation creation of my thoughts. I am powerful. I am powerful. I am unafraid of success. I am unafraid of success. I love myself and all the wonderful things about me. I love myself and all the wonderful things about me. I am smart, intelligent, and empathetic. I am smart, intelligent, and empathetic. My heart's desire is to make me happy. My heart's desire is to make me happy. I am responsible for my happiness. I am responsible for my happiness. Wherever I go, beauty follows. Wherever I go, beauty follows. The universe is working in my favor. The universe is working in my favor. I am happy, content, and taken care of. I am happy, content, and taken care of. I am thankful for everything. 
I am thankful for everything. That's the end of the affirmations for today. Um, I would like to invite you to come on my program and to talk about happiness and what it means to you, how, how you ensure that your happiness is secure, and anything else that you'd like to share with us, I invite you. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, we can connect and we can make it happen, okay? And um, <laughs> see how um, we can make the world a better place by spending more time and focus on the things that make us feel good. Because there's so much noise. There's so much noise around the negative. There's so much negative. I mean, wow. You, you, it, it's always coming at you. When you listen to the news, when you, when you go down the streets, when you hear other people talk, the, the negative is so progressive. How can we flip that? That, that is what I want to do with this podcast. I want to, I want to bring about some kind of attempt at a balance. Or at least I want to contribute to the balance, right? Um, kind of bring the focus back to the pleasantries. Not fake pleasure, pleasantries or pretend happiness, but really, really searching inside to find out, have I been happy? For how long have I been happy? For me personally, I experienced happiness for the first time in 2016. I was driving down the highway and for the first time in my life, I remember I was thinking about something a friend said to me. I had a friend who would always, anytime I called him, oh my gosh, anytime I called him, his response was, I am fantastic, I am awesome, I am wonderful, everything is perfect, everything, no, he, well, he never said perfect, but everything is great. And for me, my interpretation was, he's saying everything is perfect. And then one day he responded and he said, I'm content. And that did something to me. I thought to myself, okay, so he doesn't have perfect days. He determines that he's having good days because the fact that he's saying, I'm content, in my mind, I felt like, okay, so this was not a fantastic day, but it still wasn't a bad day. He is content in what is happening. That's how I interpreted it. And after I interpreted that, I was thinking about it a lot. And I remember as I was driving down the highway that day, that's what came to my mind. And I felt for the first time I have to close my eyes and go back there just to try I'm going to try to, to describe to you what I felt it is as though there was this light or there's this serene thing element running down my chest I felt a peace of mind a contentment a flurry of peace on my inside that I had never felt before. Never felt before. In all my 35 years, I had never felt it before. And there were times I thought I was happy, but I wasn't. But I realized that I was also very conscious of when I was unhappy. Like, it was clear to me when I was unhappy. I could know when I was unhappy. I could touch it. It was tangible. But never before had I ever had a tangible expression or feeling of happiness i never did until this day that day when it happened as i was driving i felt like the car could have that it is like it could have gone into a ditch and i would have just been on cloud nine it wasn't love butterfly it was just this peace i swear it's like this light that went from the top of my from above my right at my 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 right below my chin right at my my, my neck all the way down to like the top of my stomach or something like it was just right in the area of my chest i just felt this peace this oh, amazingness i didn't know where it came from but i i i couldn't get over it and since i found it that day i have guarded it with my life since i experienced that i have a hard time making someone else unhappy I just like I, I feel it's like I want everyone to experience that feeling that I felt everyone to experience it it, it, it was just amazing and, and today I'm at a place where I just need to lie down and see the sun sunrise and I feel that way again but I, I've had to do the work to maintain it I had to I have to fo constantly focus my thoughts on positive things 
and no matter what is happening to me and it's not easy I have to decide I'm going to choose whatever that makes me happy in this circumstance right and I also had to I changed my entire life when that happened to me I changed my friends I changed everything I had to I knew I had to create the kind of network that would facilitate this happiness that I found I had to find people di that did not allow me to to um, settle for less than what I could do for myself I don't know if you understand what I mean like I had to find people who just would not accept me being less than who I was people who listened to me and 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 hear what was important to me and then when they they see me going contrary to who I was I have this friend her name is Ava and she's gonna be so mad that I put her name in it but I have to say it and it's like she pays such close attention to me to understand who I am that when I'm when I'm straying from it she's like she reminds me that's not who you are and if you make that decision it's gonna hurt you because in the long run long long run it's not who you are it's just not who you are and I remember she taught me not to make emotional decisions you know being happy is a choice a choice a choice that comes with decisions to choose the path that in the end will bring you the most joy or the most contentment or the least fret or worry or stress so it is a choice and it's a, it's a choice that you make and you, and you make that choice every single day whether you think you're making it or not and so the, the, the thing is to to be to be conscious become conscious of these decisions you're making so you can consciously make the decision that's in your best interest right we can't just um, let things happen to us give people power over us the, 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 the person out there who has a loan and you have the loan collections people calling you calling calling and every time they call you your entire um, world flips upside down that's some kind of power you're giving them the person who has family members that you just can't get along with for whatever reason so every time they do something your mind goes to the negative place that is something negative is happening to me right now or they're doing something negative can you give them that power would you want to, do you really want to give them that power over you let's say you were right someone is doing something to you and it's unfair it's wrong even right it's an injustice how do you limit the the hurt or the impact of that on who you are what you want and and, and your peace your, your well-being you choose and sometimes the best choice is silence, giving things time to work themselves out. Sometimes it is just praying, not about what is happening, but for what you want. Because you see, when these things happen to us, when negative things happen to us, it's like we're going to a place now of focusing on that negative thing and talking about that negative thing and praying about that negative thing. But when negative things happen to us, what we should focus on is what we want. So instead of saying, Lord, let this man stop calling me. Say, Lord, please I'm asking you to bless me. Expand my territory. Give me strength to handle life. Ask for what you want. Make me happy in this moment. Help me to be happy in time of sorrow. Start focusing on the things you have and being thankful for them. Again, it is not easy. Choosing is not always easy. But guess what I think, and this is what I suggest. Make choosing you the easy choice. I'm not saying you should now become um, you should become selfish, no, or narcissistic. Well, you should be selfish. I think being selfish is a good thing. I think being a, being a narcissist is negative. But selfish, ish, meaning a bit about something. Yeah, you should be selfish. Be about yourself. Just don't become a narcissist and unkind and unthoughtful and and, and not be thoughtful. Consider others for sure. But love others like you love yourself. You cannot pour from an, from an empty cup. Oftentimes, we make other people thieves and robbers of our joy because we gave them things that they never asked for. If I come over to your house and I say, "Oh my God, my baby's over here crying," and I lament and I lament, and I and because guess what? I'm doing. I'm pitching a sales job because I wanted to give me what I want. What I want. 
and I go down and, and then you decide that you have children to but you give me the one cup of sugar you have left and then you came over to my home and you realize that it's not that I didn't have sugar is that I want I had enough to use for now I wanted more because I wanted to do something for tomorrow and then you're thinking oh my god but I give you everything I had for today guess what you cannot pour from from an, from an empty cup so instead of giving all your sugar give the amount you're able to stand losing I'm just sharing my views I'm just saying make your happiness a priority I'm not here to tell you your what how moral to be or what to what what to practice in this life or who you should be I'm saying choose your happiness you are the best person to decide what that happiness manifests how that man that happiness manifests for you so you're going to determine if what would contradict your your happiness or what would what would prevent you from being happy and choose the opposite whatever that is for you right because we are different people well we have some similarities and we share some things we have some common things there are some things in common but we're different human beings it is for me and I'm going to talk about it in another session what what I call it's a, it's a term a phrase that I call own your truth and own your truth is about being clear and in possession of what is true for you make what you desire so tangible that you you know exactly what it is that you want in every single moment and it's moment by moment it's owning your truth moment by moment and the reason it is moment by moment is what your truth is right now about a, about a thing may not be what it is tomorrow people grow up people change people sometimes become aware because they were unaware right so know what your thought is in the moment and know what your feeling is in the moment so you can know how to act in your best interest that is all that's that I'm going to be talking about for today I I hope that even one person listens to this and it helps you to if not find your happy get on the path to, to doing what's necessary to find your happy I have a book coming out finding your happy I mean sorry it's called it's titled finding happy and it's more geared towards um, unearthing who you are and career design and discover discovering design so it's um, finding happy avoid mistakes it falls and career suicide and it will be coming out in December um, and that's primarily for my coaching clients it's a tool that we use in coaching but um, as you go throughout today or whenever you're listening to this podcast, if you can hear the sound of my voice, this is what I'd like to say to you. You matter. How you feel matter. What you think matter, right? Your actions matter. Validate your feelings, validate your thoughts. And if no one will validate them for you, you validate it yourself. You deserve to be happy. Go we'll find your happy. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. My name is Satin Brownie. For the purpose of the podcast, if you want to reach out to me, you can leave a message in the comment section or you can send an email, an email using the email on my podcast or through my website, certifiedcoach.co. That's C-E-R-T-I-F-I-E-D-C-O-A-C-H.co. All right. And um, I'm also, we're also on Facebook, Satin Brownie, and Own Your Truth. And we're on Instagram too. So um, reach out if you want to. And if you would like to be a part of the program and have a conversation with me, then by all means, please join me. I, I am open to the conversation. Let's have, let's have a chat. Okay? Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Bye.